I'll do the exact same thing, but we'll kind of make it up the sword by a little bit better. Hey everyone, this is Jay Todd, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. Gambling has been made possible by the Gambling Gurus, Casino Reviews, Resort Deals, and Promotions from World Class Gaming Destinations. Visit thegamblinggurus.com. Hello, friends, and welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd, coming to you from our secret location somewhere near the Battle of the Little Bighorn or what's left of it. What a great show we have for you this week. I know I always say that and, and usually it's true, but, but this week is exceptional. We've got gambling news from the state of New Jersey, a follow-up on a story we covered a few weeks back in Missouri. We've got an interview with the vice president of the Canadian Gaming Association and a rant from old bitty grandma. Mm -hmm. But let's start our show with Las Vegas big boys, MGM Resorts. Their CEO, Jim Muren, had been quite optimistic that online poker legislation would be passed at a federal level in 2012. But now he's not so optimistic. In light of the approaching failure of the U.S. Congress to get anything accomplished this year, MGM says they're launching their own casino-style gaming platform called Casino Mogul, which will roll out in June across social platforms. The hope is, of course, that they can build up a vast database of players who like to play casino-style games so that if slash when online gambling becomes legal in the United States, they can just flip the old switch and go live for real money. I know. You didn't see that coming, right? Speaking of real money and changing gears just a bit, a few weeks back we spoke of a story in the state of Missouri where legislators there were considering passing legislation that would allow casinos in the state to loan money to players in need so that they could use that money and gamble more in the state's casinos. Yeah, I didn't stutter. Personally, I thought the whole idea of loaning money to players in a casino was kind of, uh, how do I put this delicately, stupid, and apparently I wasn't alone, as Chris chimed in on our Facebook fan page when we posted a link to this story. Chris correctly pointed out the utter hypocrisy of what's going on in Missouri by quoting the old click a mouse, lose your house cliche that so many politicians used back in 06 and 07 for their criticism of online gambling. Kind of ironic when you juxtaposition it besides a bunch of politicians who now want to give casino players credit to go gamble. So now, here to give her opinion on the issue of casinos loaning players money to gamble with, here's everyone's favorite old bitty grandma with this week's rant. Remember when politicians thought online gambling was a sore on society? An evil that had to be eradicated? Remember when they said people would wipe out their life savings online? That addicts would run up huge credit card bills? And now politicians in Missouri want to let casinos loan money out to customers so that they can gamble on credit! Seriously? What Einstein thought this up? They didn't even debate the issue. They just stuck it on a banking bill. So let's think about this. You have people in casinos with no money. Logically, the smartest thing would be to loan them money to hit the craps table. That's responsible. But hey, look at the bright side. At least they won't be online. 
All right, we're gonna be back in just a moment. Don't move from wherever you are because when we return, our interview with the Vice President of the Canadian Gaming Association. Follow us on Twitter for breaking industry news, real-time updates, and new videos. Visit twitter.com slash twigfeed. A new era of online poker. AmericasCardroom.net. Play poker for free. All players welcome at AmericasCardroom.net. Play in ring games, tournaments, Knockout tournaments, double or nothing sit and goes, and, and more. America's Cardroom.net. Join the next big thing. Welcome back. We've all been anticipating good things in the state of New Jersey this year with an online gambling bill all but set to pass in 2012. <sighs> but as usual, things never go as smoothly as we want them to. Their governor, Chris Christie, has all but... Wow! Wow, really? That's the best picture we got of this guy? <laughs> okay. Rumor has it that Governor Chris Christie, the gentleman here over my left shoulder, is going to veto any online gambling bill that comes across his desk because it could hurt his chances of political advancement. Ass. There's also some speculation that if this New Jersey bill were to pass, it could in fact hinder the buyout of full tilt by poker stars. You see, there's, there's a provision in this bill in New Jersey that would prohibit companies from operating within the state if they had done any business in the United States after UIGEA in 2006. So, as usual, online gambling politics in America are one sticky, stinky mess. Sticky, stinky. Sticky, stinky? They're both stinky and sticky. What else is stinky and sticky? Let's just say it's a mess, okay? Leave it at that. You know where it's not a mess, though? Canada. Yeah. Check out this interview. Hey, uh, Jay Todd caught up with the vice president of the Canadian Gaming Association, Paul Burns. I get all that right? You did. Okay, thank you. You know, our neighbors to the north, uh, the United States and Canada share an immense international border, but when it comes to online gambling, that's about all we have in common. That's right. Um, there has been not, uh, there's been no law enforcement uh, action in Canada. Uh, in the online business in Canada has grown to well over a billion dollar business, uh, all offshore. Um, at this point, there is new offerings from the Canadian Lottery Corporations in, in British Columbia, uh, Quebec, and Atlantic lotteries. Um, but it probably represents less than 10% of that billion dollars at this point in time. And, and uh, companies like PokerStars and Bet365 have a significant presence uh, in Canada, and uh, Canadians are quite happy to spend their money on their sites. Sports betting is immensely popular after poker, um, and that's why we went out and, as an association and thought to see laws changed on sports betting in Canada. We could bet on parlay, parlay bets only for the last probably 20 years in Canada. Um, but there's a bill that just passed the House of Commons and has one more legislative process to go that will allow for single event sports voting and allow sports books and casinos, hopefully. It'll be up to the provinces to decide how they offer it. But that change is coming, so at least there'll be a competitive playing field for people to offer and for Canadians who like betting on sports, and there are lots of them, uh, it's a chance to do it with a, a Canadian regulated site. Wow, you know, I had like three questions and you covered them all in one breath, I think. I, I don't even have to ask about the sports thing or, you know, the regular, if you could play, but you got it all. You made every American watching jealous. Thank you so much. This is, this is Paul Burns from the uh, Canadian Gaming Association Canada, the leaders in North American <laughs> online gambling. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next week on This Week in Bastard. Sometimes I like to hum. <laughs>